The Centre for Future Clean Mobility is a research and innovation centre based at the University of Exeter. The University of Exeter is a Russell Group University with an outstanding engineering department. One of those departments um, is our centre, the research group here based at the Science Park. One of the primary goals for CFCM is to help companies decarbonise and the way we do that is we go in and work with them on their existing transport networks and systems they have already. We focus on clean powertrains in sectors like construction, uh, defence, rail and maritime. Um, lots of sectors which have got very heavy, big assets which use a lot of power. So one of the first things we do when we start working with a, a new company is to look at its assets, its vehicles and vessels, what they're actually doing because we aim to provide a clean powertrain alternative to replicate what that asset is doing today. For the companies that we work with, they're interested in powertrains that are going to uh, still provide value back to their businesses. That is not going to uh, cost them too much to convert or to build new, and it's not going to cost them too much to operate over the long term. In fact, in many cases, we're able to find a clean powertrain that costs less in the long term than diesel. We're a clean fuels producer. The key for clean fuels is to generate market adoption. And that's why we really like to work with the Centre for Future Clean Mobility. They're set up to take theory off paper and put it into the real world. And nothing drives market adoption like companies being able to see real world data on these new technologies. After we have done some simulation of clean powertrains, the next phase with our partners is to put some of those components together and test them. That's what we do here in this part of the facility. So we record what the vehicle vessel actually does, what power it develops, and then we replay exactly that duty cycle on that dynamometer, and we can see what the actual powertrain does live. This helps reduce the risk of innovation, it helps reduce the cost and improve the speed of development of a powertrain to get it from a clean sheet design into a real vehicle or vessel. This is a demonstrator model that we're using at the University of Exeter's Centre for Future Clean Mobility to prove an inboard marine system for 250 kilowatts. This system is completely new and can be upgraded to over one megawatt. It's specifically used for systems in ships and it integrates with hydrogen powertrain and battery powertrain. We can also upgrade this to anything up to four megawatts for much larger ships which is the next set of projects that we're going to be doing with Exeter University. We have really helped them get to grips with complicated multiple energy source powertrains, so hybrid powertrains with zero emissions. The Centre for Future Clean Mobility has been working with OS Energy, who are a major uh, workboat fleet operator, um, helping them to decarbonise their vessels, such as the Prince Maddock, based in North Wales, who's coming in for a retrofit with a clean powertrain, and the Fortuna Magpie, which is a new build ship, and she will be fitted out with a clean powertrain from the start. CFCM has worked with Quattro Group uh, on a, its uh, road sweeper, which provides road hygiene services. It's a 20-ton vehicle. It was a, a diesel road sweeper initially, but it's now been converted uh, in a project between Quattro, EV Parts and us into an electrified road sweeper. It's capable of sweeping roads through a normal working shift, exactly as the diesel ver version is, uh, for eight hours, and uh, it requires access to a normal on-street charger to recharge for the next day. It's zero emissions, it's quiet, and it's probably the future for urban situations. So we've also worked with Supercat on their ATMP vehicle. This is an uh, all-terrain mobility platform. Uh, it was diesel, uh, and this is now electric, and it's uh, primarily a defence vehicle produced by Supercat, and with six-wheel drive and a uh, large amount of torque, uh, it's a utility vehicle for armed forces. Uh, zero emissions and silent and low infrared signature, which is important for defence. It's a very high capability electric vehicle. Supercat has had a relationship with the University of Exeter spanning over a number of years. For me, the benefit of working with CFCM is that they have a uh, that really good combination of, of 
academic rigour and, and subject matter expertise with uh, a knowledge of what works for business. So we've been able to, to, to partner with them relatively easily actually and actually despite the sort of reputation of, of working with academia sometimes being a little bit spiky and, 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 and slow, uh, we found the opposite to be true with CFCM. It's been, it's been a joy to work with and we've been able to crack on and, and get on with the business. For more information and some case studies of how we can help businesses with decarbonisation, go to futurecleanmobility.com.